Crazy new information has been revealed about the PlayStation 5's I.O. system, and it involves a partnership with Oodle that will allow the PlayStation 5's I.O. system to be supercharged. Also, Outbreak Day is tomorrow, September 26, and Naughty Dog is giving free stuff away and promising surprise announcements. Is one of those factions too? And finally, new information leaks about a possible Bloodborne remaster for the PlayStation 5. All this and much, much more in today's edition of the Saltiest PlayStation news report. Let's get into it. What's up, my fellow gamers? It's Saltiest Gaming. We're back with another PlayStation News Report. If it's your first time here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can stay up to date with all things PlayStation and PlayStation 5. What's up, Salt Nation? Happy Friday. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I hope you guys secured your PlayStation 5 pre-orders. A second round of pre-orders have just gone out today around the world, UK, United States, and a ton of people are able to secure their PlayStation 5s when they weren't able to do it the first time so if you guys did secure that playstation 5 let me know in the comment section we had a great episode of the saltiest gaming podcast last night unfortunately notifications did not go out to everybody so if you missed that make sure to check that out we discussed that in length as well as all the latest and greatest in gaming so like i teased in the intro playstation and naughty dog specifically are going to celebrate what was previously known as outbreak day you guys know what's going on around the world so it's a no-brainer to kind of change that name to not upset people so they decided to rename it the last of us day 2020 it's going to take place tomorrow september 26 and according to wario 64 playstation is giving away free playstation 4 goodies to all players to celebrate the last of us day 2020 according to post they're gonna be giving away all existing themes and avatars for the last of us part two they'll be 100 percent free no strings attached via the playstation store until september 28 so if you didn't get any of those you should go check out what's available and snag that before the 28th at 11 59 p.m pacific also what's highlighted is possibly the best freebie out there is the last of us part two beach theme if you guys aren't familiar this is what is on the screen when you begin the game and then if you end the game it has something to do with that i will not reveal what happens obviously this is a dynamic theme based on the game that comes with custom music custom icons and custom sounds i had a buddy that already downloaded it and he he loves it. I downloaded it, but I haven't taken a look at it. I saw a video of it, but this thing actually looks awesome. The dynamic themes for PlayStation are amazing. I love to change it up. I think I have the Tetris theme right now, which is awesome. It has the neon lights and everything. I'll change it up every now and again to keep it fresh on the home screen. I think that PlayStation does a fantastic job with this, but also the rumors and speculations are abounding that they potentially could show off some factions part two gameplay or make an announcement with that because they didn't come out and specifically say, hey, we're not announcing announcing anything in that regards. So me being a fanboy of the factions multiplayer, I think it's one of the best underrated multiplayers of all time, not just this generation. And the fact that we haven't heard anything in regards to factions two in a long time, other than that post by Naughty Dog a long time ago saying it was going to be a standalone, it would be a crazy good announcement to get this tomorrow as a surprise and maybe tell us when we can expect to see this on the PlayStation 5 or when it's going to be releasing. A lot of you guys might say I'm dreaming, but hey, if you can dream it, they can ice cream it, right? You got to envision the good things that you want in life. Yeah, I would just be blown away if they announced this because honestly, I will be playing the shit out of this game when it's on the PlayStation 5. This is one of my most anticipated titles on the PlayStation 5. I was late to the factions of The Last of Us, but when I was platinuming the game, it's part of the requirements. You got to do a full run for both sides, right? The, the Fireflies and the other side, you got to do a bunch of multiplayer. And through that time, I just fell in love with it and it's just outstanding. It's different from anything else I've experienced. Let me know if you guys are big fans of the faction multiplayer. Would you guys be hyped if they made some kind of announcement tomorrow? Are you guys Last of Us fans? Will you be picking the dynamic theme up? Let me know in the comment section. Next up, we have rumors about Bloodborne remaster. We already got news and information regarding a remaster for the PlayStation's Spider-Man PlayStation 4, which caused all kinds of upset individuals to be triggered and show their displeasure online. French retail seller F Knacker Fnac leaked dates earlier this week when the PlayStation 5 pre-orders would go live and since that turned out to be correct people are speculating that the PlayStation 5 game listings would be correct as well in the list
list, Bloodborne Remastered can be seen as one of the games expected to be released when the PlayStation 5 launches. This could definitely be utter speculation on the retailer's part, but also the rumors don't stop there. Red Gaming Tech, a YouTube channel, is reputed for its accurate leaks in the gaming industry. The channel mainly focuses on hardware leaks than software, but the track record is very good. In a hardware leak video, the channel discussed that a source at a firm Bloodborne is coming to the PlayStation 5 and PC. This will not be a remake, but a remastered version. This will remove all the issues that the game had in the PlayStation 4, making the experience yet more worthy for the fans. So you're looking at 60 frames per second, taking out some of the jank. The game suffers from a lot of that. I mean, it's other From Software games have that as an issue as well. Can you imagine playing Bloodborne at a, a smooth 60 frames per second with upgraded graphics and all that other stuff? It would be amazing. Another reason why people cannot do away with the rumors is because the PlayStation Showcase showed Bloodborne as one of the titles coming to the PlayStation Plus collection, though there was no official remastered announcement or even a peak. The rumors don't seem illogical altogether when you add it up. And I think blood porn, blood porn, I think blood... <laughs> Oh my god, we're just gonna leave that in there. Usually I'd edit it out, but damn, that's funny. That's funny, right? Bloodborne is too popular to ignore for PlayStation. And if they're not gonna do a sequel, the best next thing is to do a remaster. I mean, give the fans what they want. Let me know if you guys would pick this up, a remastered version of Bloodborne. Let's talk about it in the comments. In other news, Jeff Keighley has announced the Game Awards 2020 will take place on Thursday, December 10th. Why am I telling you about this is because greatness is on the PlayStation platform and more than likely two of its games are going to be nominated for game of the year and more than likely one of them will win. The Last of Us Part 2 will be nominated for game of the year for sure and Ghost of Tsushima should be nominated and should win in my opinion because it's the best game since God of War but I digress so make sure to mark your calendars because this is going to be a fantastic time. I think Jeff Keighley is doing an awesome job with the game awards and especially if you're on the PlayStation side it's a good time to look back in retrospect and just bask in the glow of greatness. Let me know if you guys are going to check out the Game Awards. Let's talk about it in the comments. Next up, like I teased in the intro, the PlayStation 5's IO system will be supercharged by Oodle Texture. Bandwidth goes up to about 17.38 gigabytes per second. This is insane. Looks like a partnership with Oodle will allow the PlayStation 5 to go much further when it comes to bandwidth peaks and compressed data. We already knew that the PlayStation 5 would support Kraken hardware decoder, but the folks at Oodle have now unveiled that Sony also licensed Oodle texture technology, which is optimized for compressing GPU textures. First of all, I can't say Oodle without thinking of a place in Las Vegas. It's called Oodle Noodle. That's what I think of. Regardless, I digress. Oodle Texture is a software library that game developers use at content creation time to compile their source art in GPU ready BC17 formats. All games use GPU texture encoders, but previous encoders did not optimize optimize the compiled textures for compression like Oodle Texture does. Not all games at launch of the PS5 will use Oodle Texture as it's very new technology, but we can expect it to be a majority of PlayStation 5 games in the future. But because of this, we expect average compression ratio and therefore the effective IO speed to be even better than previously estimated. According to Oodle, the previous 8 to 9 gigabytes per second IO bandwidth figure was provided by Sony by multiplying the 5.5 gigabytes per second peak bandwidth of the PlayStation 5's SSD for standard compression ratio of 1.45 to 1 or 1.64 to 1. However, when factoring in both Oodle Kraken and Oodle Texture, the developers of the technology have seen impressive compression ratio of 3.16 to 1 for texture set in recent games. This would translate into an IO bandwidth peak of 17.38 gigabytes per second, which is insane. That's more than double the previous 8 to 9 gigabytes per second IO bandwidth. And if you take all this into consideration of what the future holds for PlayStation. Not only do they have the best SSD on the market right now for next gen systems, which developers have praised. They said this is going to be one of the most important features of next gen that they're excited to use. The numbers that they gave for IO bandwidth were insane at the time. But now this new information is coming out about Oodle Texture and Oodle Kraken, and it's taking this thing up to two, two times of what it was previously mentioned. So the possibilities are endless. So this is just some more proof that the PlayStation 
PlayStation 5 was developed with insane amount of care and forethought by people like Mark Cerny and everybody else. That's the reason why they put the SSD that they did inside the PlayStation 5. I'm super excited to see where this goes. I think it's going to be amazing for PlayStation gamers, especially when it comes to first party games, games like Days Gone, using the increased CPU, the badass SSD, the increase in GPU, because I had major issues with games like that. I was on the PlayStation Slim. I was having frame rate issues and you could do all kinds of crazy things with the open world. But what do you guys think about this Oodle texture, the potential supercharged IO system with the future of PlayStation games? Let's talk about it in the comment section. That's it for the saltiest PlayStation news report. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to slap the like button. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications. Have a great day. Have fun gaming. Play games, not flops. And as always, stay salty, my friends. Thank you.